behind me. So I've set up V6 hide. And I got the additional room behind, so I got ground cover inside. And I've staked, I've staked out this reservoir for the last couple of days. Sure enough, there's mute swans all over here and there's some really nice backgrounds and we get a late sunset, the sun sets over here and it's just set now. The plan is I'm gonna be in that hide probably 40 minutes to an hour before sunrise. It's fairly big, it go goes around here. Um, but this is kind of a bit of a sheltered bay so the water is quiet a lot more of the time and that's really what I want. I don't want it, you know, choppy and stuff. You don't really get nice reflections from if the water is quite choppy. There's going to be a lot more wind still here. over a bit now. A heron just landed on the other side here. Well, it's too far away from the photo but it's just nice to see it's just landing there. As I said it's clouded over now but it was a nice sunrise but a fairly slow morning here today. Um, I've only had what would look like teal further away but it's too far away for a photo. I had a mute swan around just got a couple of nice photos of it but I really wanted some of that. Some of the other species that are here, some of the slightly more exotic ones, but oh well. I'm just walking around a little bit to see if there's anywhere else I might want to put the hide. And this morning, I, I had okay light but not ideal and I also didn't like my visibility because there's a lot of tufts in front of me that I can't I can't remove at all so there's a little tree so I can't get visibility everywhere and I have a very narrow view uh, so I'd quite like to change that for tomorrow morning and I'm looking out at the reservoir in front of me and the hide I'd set out the hide there it's just behind these trees here and amongst those trees So my idea is, if you see behind me here, I want to put the hide down in that corner and that way I will have a chance at uh, backlit images from the woods over there from shooting that way and I'm liking my background more that way as well. And also I can shoot back this way towards where my hide was set up um, this morning. And I can capture some images of side light there. I'm just going to leave the additional room attached. Carry it on my arm. Bring it over there.
morning. That's been front. That's been close to the height this morning. Is left now. I can't see anything more. It was a nice sunrise, but it's clouded over now. And the water has become quite choppy as well. It's become quite windy. But it's been a good morning. Had a few different species about. Get a few photos of the meat swans um, with the sunrise behind them. Just really, really happy with those. Um, had some golden eye come close as well, which is really cool. I'm not sure how those images came out. There's a few um, grasses and stuff sticking up under the water. So every now and then I lose my focus point, which is a bit of shame. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been really good. Early on, I had some Canada geese as well. Kind of swimming close, but it was still very dark. So I was very high ISO with them. It's been a good morning. I think I'm gonna wrap it up now though, because I don't see anything about, and um, as I said, the water is quite choppy. It can make for some interesting images, but I was really hoping for that surface still like I had this morning. So yeah, as you can see, I've just been using the V6 hide for this, uh, with the additional room. That way, I got the ground sheet layer, and I've just been, I got myself a little um, roll out pad just like a five pound kind of cheap thing just a little bit of thin layer of foam to lie down on here uh, because the ground is still quite cold so that makes it quite comfortable and I've been using the bottom shooting window here and what you can do then is just this hide comes with the interchangeable uh, windows and this is the camo uh, kind of waterproof pattern, uh, camo pattern one. And these I'm gonna go into these windows here where I have. You can see here I have a um, the mesh, the mesh netting on mine. And the mesh gives you more visibility out. And this one here kind of blocks on the light. Um, but what you can do is at the bottom here where there's the zipper, you don't you don't attach the windows there, but you could put your camera through this and use this to poke your camera out that way your lens is kind of covered up as well so you can also use for the bottom windows and I really like the bottom windows to get that low angle view uh, just straight over the water here I quite like this hide and this you see the kind of grass is kind of turning a little bit this hide blends in really nice to that environment Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that bell to be notified. Every month I come out with a video where I take um, Tragopon products out into the field and use them for wildlife photography. So I'll see you next time. Alright, you probably can't see me very well, so I'm going to open up a little peephole inside. I'm in the hide, I'm in the V6 hide, and I figured I'm going to do the temperature test. I got myself a thermometer that measures inside and outside. And you can see here behind me, I got a little wire here that's hanging outside. And that's picking up the temperature outside. And this one here is picking up the temperature inside and it measures both. And what we did say about these hides, it's got the, the coating on the hide, which is why you get this kind of silvery reflective surface on the inside. And that helps to keep a temperature difference. So the idea behind that is when it's cold outside, you'll be warmer in the height. And when it's hot outside with the sun blaring on it, you'll be cooler inside. Well, let's take it to the test. We just hung that out. It's probably been outside for two minutes, so it should be enough to kind of measure the temperature difference. Wow, okay. Have a look at that. So as you can see that, but that says inside the hide it is 14 and a half degrees Celsius. Outside the hide right now it is 7.2 degrees Celsius. And that's just slightly over a seven degrees temperature difference inside and outside. That makes it for a very comfortable hide to be in for longer sessions. 
That's pretty incredible. Put that into Fahrenheit for the people who prefer Fahrenheit. And outside, outside now it is 45 degree Fahrenheit. Inside it is 58.1 degree Fahrenheit. So there you go. That's the temperature test. And I'll see you next month.